Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and I am glad you are here because I have a little bit of a treat. Not too long ago, I asked on my Instagram if anyone had any ideas of what I should make another YouTube video on. And at that time, I was in like this weird slump. I didn't know what kind of videos to make. I felt just blocked for some reason. So I do want to give a shout out to Robin at Art Journal Girl on Instagram and on YouTube because she suggested that I do a collection video of my notebooks, my notebook covers actually. And I thought that was a good idea. However, I have quite a few notebooks so I felt like, well, why not maybe do a video of my favorite notebooks in the sense of my favorite um, notebooks from one seller and that seller is actually Rowena at SojournerUSA.net and I'm gonna take you back to I think it was in 2015 when my when I made my first purchase with her and that was during the time of Brittany's Traveler's Notebook journey <laughs> um, and my very first Sojourner was actually this guy. My very first B6 Slim, and it's my very second notebook cover ever, if I recall. I think it's my very, my second notebook. And I discovered SojournerUSA.net from Miss Vicky B, I believe it was, and that was a few years ago. And so yeah, so I got this, and I got it with the designer pocket. This was my very first purchase, actually my second purchase in the Traveler Notebook world and it was, I don't know, I, I really enjoyed it. I used it, I still have some notebooks in here. I think I used it for about six months or so, one of the longest time frames that I've used this. I used it for planning and um, for documenting. And you can see this is actually my son in this first year, my oldest son, and how um, I was documenting about him in my other notebooks, which are not in here. But yeah, so this was the B6 Slim. It is a traveler's notebook. At the time, I don't think she had pockets. I have the pocket on the outside, which I did not use uh, very often, but I really like how it looked. And I really like that contrast stitching, the red stitching. And then I just chose the black elastics. So I am not 100% sure what leather this is. If you do, please put it, please help me in the comments. This journal had the natural uh, veg tan in the front pocket. And you can see it has definitely darkened up over the years. And just for comparison's sake, this is my current natural veg tan leather. So you can see how dark it will get over time. Of course, this has been like three years. So anyway, moving on. I'm not sure what I should do next. I believe after that one, I ended up getting this guy. <laughs> Obviously, he wasn't this chunky when I got him. This is the standard olive leather and this is the one that has that nap that almost feels like velvet and I'm currently using this to store all my standard notebooks that have been for the most part completed and um, yeah I really love this leather this is the only olive I own and I do want to get some more of it because I just love the way it feels I've had this probably for maybe two years now and it just pretty much stores my notebooks. Next, I believe I got this. This is the Roadrunner in the B6 Slim. And I think I got this probably a year and a half ago when the B6 Slim was becoming more and more popular. This is the Roadrunner. You can see it's a beautiful reddish brown and it does scratch really easily. And it's very, all her notebooks are very lightweight. I didn't even care about getting pockets because I don't really use them that much. So 
This was my third. Then I saw her caribou and I ended up getting a caribou and I did talk about this in another video. You could see here, this is a darker color than the Roadrunner and it's more brown and it is, um, again, it, it's a B6 Slim and it doesn't have the pockets. So I was on this huge B6 Slim kick and I actually started off with the B6 Slim a long time ago before they became super popular. Um, but yeah, so these are my three B6 Slims and the last Traveler's Notebook style of notebook is this one and this one I got this year a couple months ago. This is her folio. This is the only folio I have of hers and it's in the natural veg tan leather. So it has the pocket here, it has the four straps, then it has some card slots back here and another pocket in the back. And it is gradually tanning. You can kind of tell a difference in color from the inside to the outside. I'm excited to see in a couple years if it will get as dark as this one is now. Obviously this will probably be a little bit darker. And I also had one more Traveler's Notebook that I ended up selling and it was in the natural, um, natural leather, I think and it had a brown pocket and I did sell that to somebody so I do not have that one but that is the only one I actually sold of a Sojourner. Next is when I really got into the folios. This was my first folio from Sojourner. This was in the surprise leather and I did not use it that much because I don't know why. This is housing a document journey notebook and yeah I mean I like the leather but I don't know maybe I just didn't I wasn't obsessed with it which is why I probably didn't use it that much plus I was still kind of going back in between a standard traveler's notebook and the folios so this was my first folio and then I thought, why not try to get a folio in the so in the Roadrunner because I really enjoyed that leather. So this is my B6 Slim folio in the Roadrunner, which is like the reddish brown. And the difference, obviously, not every leather is going to be the same. You can kind of tell this one's actually a little bit more brown to me, and this one's kind of maroonish red I don't know I don't I mean they are the same leather types obviously I got this probably like a year and a half before I got this one I got this one the end of last year and I loved it so much I was in this notebook for pretty much six months and um, I did do a flip through, flip through of this journal and I just keep my journal in here to house it because I've moved on to a new size and I know I will eventually go back to this one. I just love this. It's just so nice to carry. Plus this leather is so sturdy in comparison to some of the other leathers that I own. And I really like that I felt as though this leather really protected my notebook, especially going six months and taking it everywhere with me. Then she came out with, well, she came out with the Yale, but I can't remember um, if she came out with it before or after the poppy and the other color. I can't remember what it's called at the moment, but then I got the Yale. And this leather reminds me of basketball leather like the it I mean the pebbliness reminded me of that and I think over time the pebbliness kind of has flattened a little bit in my opinion it feels kind of grippy and so this is the Yale and if you want to compare it to the 
Roadrunner, it is like a burnt orangey red to me. And this is in the B6 size. Next, I really wanted to get this leather because this was her first um, leather in the orange color and it's actually uh, the deer leather um, until she ran out and then she was able to find more orange leather but it's not made of from the same hide of like animal and um, this leather is so smooth I cannot imagine myself ever selling this notebook because it's just it's just so soft it's so soft it's different texture it is definitely very floppy like very floppy but the inside of this leather is almost like velvety it's so soft and smooth now I will say um, Romina has great taste in her leather options and I think from all the notebooks I have all of her leather inside nap is always so soft very soft so this is in the pocket size and currently just holding a stalogy which I was doing quotes on and then well okay the story behind this I missed out on this yellow leather and I still kick myself today because I didn't get the yellow leather. And I hope one day, Romina, if you're watching, I hope you get this some type of yellow leather back because I will be the first person to try to snag one. Um, but she had this combination where she had the yellow, the pink, which I think is um, Rose of Sharon, and then she had the orange, which is the poppy. And you can see the inside, it's like kind of furry almost, but it's so soft and smooth. And this one in particular is the Field Notes um, size. It's the larger Field Notes. I'm not, what, I'm not sure what it's called or what she calls this size, but I won this from her. And I actually have the exact same notebook, which I purchased probably a few weeks before I won this one. Um, and it is actually in the B6 slim size. So I got this one, which is a little bit taller than the B6 slim. Here's a size comparison. Um, and you can fit a B6 slim in here. The um, length across is the same. It's just the height. It's a little bit taller. So this leather is very pretty. It does not mark up. I mean, unless you're like scratching it with a razor or something, but it's it's not really gonna mark up. It's very floppy. You can tell here as I just grab the corner how floppy it is. If I grab the corner of this one, it doesn't really bend much. I really have to tug at it. Um, but this leather is just so smooth and it is a folio and it does have the card slots. I don't know if I, I'm opening all of them up. I'm sorry if I'm kind of all over the place and not giving you the same specs across every one, but I'm trying to show you the inside of every one and then the nap of every one. So yeah, so this was another one I got and I have two of these. The other one I can't find at the moment. I think I stored it away somewhere, but this is an option I think she still has in her shop. I think she still has this in her shop. And then she started talking about purple leathers. And so I got this one, <laughs> which was one of the first sets of her purple leather that she mentioned. And this one I was using for my journal for a while. And then I realized I needed something um, a little bit more sturdy. So I stopped using it to go back to my Roadrunner. Um, but this one is beautiful. It's like a dark, deep purple, and then you can tell the inside is nice and and smooth. It's not as nappy as the Rose of Sharon, but it's definitely soft. 
and then the leather here doesn't really mark up as much as the other leathers. It is similar to that of the Rosa Sharon where you kind of get a little bit of variation that's already in the leather and it doesn't really mark up with a bunch of scratches at all. But this one is very smooth. It's like, it's hard to describe. Um, it's almost squishy smooth. <clears throat> And this is a B6 slim size. You can see the configurations, which are pretty identical along all of her sizes. Like B6 slims usually have these two pockets in the back, or card slots in the back, sorry. And then I took a leap and decided to go big because I really like the idea of journaling on a larger scale. And <clears throat> so I ended up getting this one. And this was, was it her surprise leather? I can't remember the name to this one, but it has like, it's embossed. Maybe it was her embossed leather. That's maybe what she called it. She doesn't have this one anymore, but you can tell that it is embossed or debossed, however you say it and it's kind of squishy. Now, this one is very, very, very thin, as you can tell. And this is actually in the A5 size. It is gorgeous. Um, I am housing it with the Hobonichi Techo cousin, and this is what I was using as my Bible verses here and so I need to get back into this I've had I've actually been neglecting it which is not good I'm um, just been busy and trying different things so I will be getting back into this but yes I really like the idea of the folio being able to house a thicker notebook because I was going through travelers notebooks pretty quickly like this and I felt like I kept buying more and more notebooks and um, I just I wanted to try something different and so being able to have a thicker notebook is actually something that's going to last me for a longer period of time than the small traveler's notebooks or the thinner traveler's notebooks. So anyway, yeah, and then plus it was my first year getting a Hobonichi Techo and I got all three and so I wanted a different cover for my Hobonichi Techo than a Hobonichi cover, and this was the first one. So, got this. This is my first A5 as well. And then, she went to Canada. She is in Rowena, and I fell in love with this one. So, she had limited amount of leather. This is what she calls, I think, her Canadian leather and it just looked like a big brown teddy bear. <laughs> like a squeezy, squeezy, that doesn't make sense. It just reminded me of like rich chocolate and it just looks so soft. I was a little bit surprised when it did arrive because I, for some reason I thought it was gonna be squishy soft and it's more flat. Um, doesn't really have much squishiness to it like it would with something like the um, the poppy leather, but I still like it anyway. I mean, I, I haven't even gotten out of it since I purchased it. I am currently using it for my bullet journaling, and um, I started using this just as a bullet journal um, for July. And it was for my one book July to kind of put everything all in one book. And so I started using this notebook for it. And this is a uh, Taroko uh, Breeze notebook, which you can actually buy at her shop. Just to show you the inside, it is, it is more, I think of it kind of like, not as, it is kind of floppy. The leather is, is thin but it has a little bit more sturdiness than some of her other floppy leathers, and so I think that's why I really enjoy it. 
and then it has the pocket on the front which is made of the same leather and it does give it even more firmness as well so this is her Canadian leather which um, she told me she doesn't have any more of or she had a limited quantity of and then she came out with her 2.0 and I didn't jump at it at first but after looking at some of the others uh, Instagram photos and at Babette um, I felt like I needed to get one because I do a lot of journaling and I felt like this would be awesome to have as a journal. Well once when I got it I realized that I think I'm going to use it for my 2019 bullet journal and that's because I am going to be using a different notebook and I've talked about this in a couple of other videos so you may have heard this already. This is the uh, A5 size and this is in the caribou which is the dark leather. Now let me compare it to the caribou from a few years ago which is my B6 slim size. And this one's been rolled, this one hasn't been rolled, so it's pretty fresh, I guess you could say. Fresh, new, untainted, <laughs> but I do like this. It's different, and you can kind of tell that it doesn't just flop down because of this leather. It's very sturdy and um, very will protect your notebooks very well. So I have an Archer and Olives notebook in here, and it's actually, whoops. It's actually a pretty thick notebook. Um, I think it has 160 pages, but what makes it thick is that each page is 160 pound weight. So it's very thick. It will take watercolor really well. I talked about this multiple times. I haven't tested it out other than doing swatches in the back. And um, But this is my plan for 2019 to use as a bullet journal and this one you can tell it doesn't have the size because it's her 2.0 it doesn't have the side sleeves to slip in your notebook it instead has this strap which is really nice it's like a really hardy um, thick strap that will hold your notebook and then the cool thing is that you don't have to worry about this strap in the back. You can either cut it out or just fold it over the back part of this notebook. And there you go. And then if I wanted to, I can even, because of my notebook, comes with a pencil holder or like a pen holder. I can just keep that in there and fold this over. Now Rubina also included in these holes this is her 2.0 to fit your own pencil here as well. I haven't tried, tested this out in this notebook in particular, but it's supposed to fit like that. And then you just fold it over and put your string over. So this is an invention I have not seen amongst the Traveler's Notebook and um, Leather Notebook community yet. So it is new style and I really like it. Now the only thing is that the leather choices, um, this particular notebook just won't really expand if you're doing a lot of mixed media in your journals and things like that, that where it would get really chunky. So it's more geared towards just writing and we'll see how long it will last me here because this book is already pretty thick but it does fit really nicely the cool thing about it is that you can fold it this way where the smaller strap is folded over the larger or the smaller flap is folded over the larger flap or vice versa so it is versatile in that way so I got this one to be using for next year and I've been dying to try to like use it but I'm holding back because I want to, to just use it for 2019 January 1 and um, hopefully by the end of the year if I hold on to it that long uh, or if I use it for that long um, we can see how it ages um, with use. So that is the 
2.0 version of the folio. Last but not least is another leather similar to the Yale. <clears throat> it is the Solomon. This is her new fall leather along with the green one. I forgot the name of it. And this is my very first Sojourner in the week size. So this leather I've thrown in, in my purse multiple times. So you can see the edges kind of curve over just a little bit, but I like that. It's just showing its use. It fits the Hobonichi weeks how I prefer it to fit. And that is where I have this cover and this cover in, um, inside the flaps. That's how I like my notebooks. Just because I know it's not gonna fall out, it's not gonna just flap over and come out of the cover. So I, that's how I like them. I'm not a huge fan of the notebooks that only fit in one side and then it has the straps and you can add all these other books. I don't like that. This is how I like my notebooks to fit. And so I have a lot of stuff in here, but this is how I'm using my weeks right now and I really like it. I would say this leather is very intoxicating. In my opinion, this one smells very loud. And loud I mean in a good way. So every time I have this around me, I can like smell it. I don't even have to put it up to my nose. I can just smell the leather and I love that. Um, but just to compare, this is the Solomon and then this is the Yale and it does have that grippy feel. The leather is very, it's the exact same leather, just a different color. This is the Weeks and this is a B6. So that's pretty much my collection. I'm sorry it took forever. I didn't, I tried not to keep blabbing on and everything. And so I'm just going to cut it here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions on these leathers, please list them in the comments below. And I want to thank you for watching to the very end. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.